Hello everyone and welcome back to the popular Fax channel, which is the largest and most capable military transport helicopter in the world. This top 10 analysis is based on size and payload capacity. This list do not include helicopters that are currently being developed. It includes only production helicopters that are currently in service or are ready for production. Currently top 10 most capable military transport helicopters in the world are these 10. NH-90, France, Germany, Italy, Netherlands. In 1985, five European nations signed a memorandum of understanding covering a NATO helicopter for the 90s or NH-90. The UK dropped out of the program in 1987 in favor to the A101, leaving France, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands in the project by means of NH Industries. The two initial versions were the NH-90 NFH, NATO frigate helicopter, for the autonomous anti-submarine warfare and anti-ship roles, and the NH-90 TTH, tactical transport helicopter, for assault transport, rescue, electronic warfare and VIP transport duties. These helicopters are in service with France, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands. It has been exported to Australia, Belgium, Greece, New Zealand, Norway, Oman and Sweden. The NH-90 TTH transport helicopter accommodates 20 troops. Alternatively, it can carry 2000 to 5000 kg of cargo internally or 4200 kg externally. 9. Mi-8, Russia the Nomai 8 is one of the most prolific utility helicopters ever built with over 7 300 examples manufactured since 1961. Its export version, the Mi 17, was widely exported. This helicopter is in service with more than 60 countries. Variants of this prolific helicopter are still produced today. The most widely built version for military customers is the Mi 8T, the standard utility transport. It accommodates 24 troops. Alternatively, it can transport 4000 kg of cargo internally or 3000 kg externally. The Mi 8TB is an armed derivative that packs a heavy punch with a trainable machine gun, bombs, rockets, and anti tank guided missiles. This helicopter has given rise to a bewildering range of versions that fulfill a wide variety of specialized roles. Dedicated combat support variants include Airborne Reserve Command Post electronic countermeasures, communications intelligence, and command relay. Other versions carry out delivery of fuel to frontline units, photo reconnaissance, artillery fire correction, reconnaissance, VIP transport, mine laying, and mine clearing. 8. All 101, Italy slash United Kingdom. The Agusta Westland AW101 was developed as a modern naval utility helicopter. Previously, this chopper was known as Eurocopter Industries A101, it was jointly produced by Agusta of Italy and Westland Helicopters of United Kingdom. However, in 2000, Agusta and Westland Helicopters merged and formed Agusta Westland. Since 2007, this helicopter is marketed as Agusta Westland AW101. There are utility and anti-submarine warfare versions of this helicopter. The A101 slash AW101 is in service with Italy and United Kingdom. It has been exported to Algeria, Canada, CH-149 Cormorant, Denmark, Nigeria, Portugal, Saudi Arabia, and Turkmenistan. It is licensed produced in Japan and United States. It is worth noting that Britain, Denmark, and Portugal use the name Merlin for this helicopter. Utility version of the AW-101 accommodates 26 soldiers. Payload capacity is around 4000 kg. This amount of cargo can be carried internally or under slum. Furthermore, Royal Air Force operates a Merlin HC.MK.3 version that accommodates a maximum of 45 troops or up to 6000 kg of payload internally. 7. Z-18 China The Z-18 is a new Chinese military transport helicopter. It was developed by Chang Aircraft Industry Group, K. It evolved from a civilian avicopter AC-313 which in turn is based on a Z-8 Naval Anti-Submarine Warfare and Utility Helicopter. The Z-18 is the largest military helicopter ever developed in China. The new helicopter was first publicly exposed in 2014. It seems that the Z-18 is already in service with Chinese military. It will gradually replace older Z-8 helicopters. The Chinese Z-18 helicopter is based on the Harbin Z-8 design, but has a redesigned fuselage and more powerful engines. 
As a result, the new Z18 has more internal space, can carry more payload and has overall better performance at higher altitude and temperature. It has been reported that composites in titanium are extensively used in production of this helicopter. This helicopter accommodates about 27 passengers. It can transport 4,000 kg internally or 5,000 kg externally. During a test flight, Intibet the Z-18 broke a record by attaining an altitude of 9,000 m and flying above Mount Everest. It is the first time a large helicopter managed to fly that high. 6. X-725, France. The Eurocopter, now Airbus Helicopters. EC-725 Super Cougar, or Caracal, is a long-range tactical transport helicopter. It evolved from the Eurocopter Puma slash Cougar family. It was specially developed to meet a French Air Force requirement for a specialist helicopter for combat search and rescue operations. The new helicopter made its first flight in 2000. First helicopter was delivered to the French Air Force in 2005. Later it has been adopted by the French Army. This helicopter has been adopted by Brazil, Indonesia, Malaysia, Mexico. Some other countries order this helicopter. The EC-725 can carry up to 28 troops or 5,670 kg of payload internally. External payload is around 4,500 kg. The EC-725 can be used not only for combat search and rescue, but also for troop and cargo transport or casualty evacuation. This helicopter can be fitted with add-on armor plating and can operate in combat environment. Also, there is an ASW version of this helicopter, 5. Mi-38, Russia. The Mi-38 is a transport helicopter, aimed both at military and civil customers. It is being proposed as a replacement for the aging Mi-8 and Mi-17 series helicopters. Initially, it was developed as an improved version of the Mi-8. However, it has so many differences that the Mi-38 is a totally new design, rather than improved version of the Mi-8. It has new airframe, engines, rotor system, and avionics. It can be seen as a new generation of the Mi-8. Development of this helicopter is now complete. Its small-scale production began in 2017. In 2018, it was announced that series production of the Mi-38 began. First production helicopter was planned to be delivered to the Russian military in 2018. For passenger transport missions, this helicopter accommodates up to 32 troops. It can carry 5,000 kg of cargo internally or 7,000 kg externally. Various versions of the Mi-38 are planned to be produced for different missions. Equipment may be fitted for emergency landing on water. Also, it can be adopted as an ambulance. Or V-22 Osprey, USA. The V-22 Osprey is not exactly a helicopter. It is a first operational tilt rotor. The Osprey combines vertical lift capabilities of a helicopter with a flight speed of a fixed-wing turboprop aircraft. It is used by U.S. Army, Air Force, Marine Corps, and Navy. Deliveries commenced in 2001. Currently, the Osprey is one of the largest VTOL aircraft. It accommodates 24 troops. This tilt rotor transport can carry 9,000 kg internally or 6,800 kg externally. The Osprey can fly at a maximum cruising speed of just over 500 km h. It is nearly twice faster than most utility helicopters can fly. Also, this tilt rotor is capable of in-flight refueling. The Osprey can operate from large amphibious assault ships or aircraft carriers. On board it can be compactly stored. So the Osprey tilt rotor transport has a significant advantage over helicopters that it can fly twice faster and another advantage over aircraft that it lands vertically so it can land on ships or rough terrain. 3. CH-47F Chinook, USA The ubiquitous CH-47 Chinook was developed to meet a U.S. Army requirement. It first flew back in 1961, that this utility helicopter became operational in 1962. Since then, over 1-160 have been built, including models licensed produced in Italy and Japan. It has been exported all over the world. Upgraded Chinooks are planned to remain operational with the U.S. Army beyond 2060, or over 100 years after it first entered service. The Chinook helicopter performs various transport missions. It transports troops, war supplies, and battlefield equipment. This helicopter is also deployed in medical evacuation, search and rescue, aircraft recovery, parachute drop, and other operations. It accommodates up to 44 passengers. 
It can lift 10 300 kg of cargo internally and 11 300 kg externally. It has two external cargo hooks and can carry various loads, such as light vehicles or artillery pieces externally. The CH-47F is a recent version. It can carry up to 55 passengers or up to 12 700 kg of cargo. Existing CH-47D helicopters can be upgraded to this standard, or these can be newly produced. By 2014, U.S. Army and National Guard obtained 300 of these helicopters. The CH-47F has been exported to some countries, too. CH-53K King Stallion USA Recently, a new CH-53K King Stallion helicopter was developed to meet requirements of the U.S. Marine Corps. It is a further development of the CH-53E Super Stallion. Since 1974, the Super Stallion was the largest and most powerful helicopter outside Russia. It is being replaced by the latest King Stallion, which is even larger and more powerful. The CH-53K has similar airframe as its predecessor, but has notably improved performance. This heavy helicopter was first publicly revealed in 2014. The King Stallion reached initial operating capability with the U.S. Marine Corps in 2018. Currently, it is the largest and heaviest helicopter used by the U.S. military. This military helicopter was designed to deliver troops, vehicles and supplies from ships to shore. The CH-53K has in payload capacity of 15.9T and can carry around 37 troops. With centerline seats installed, the King Stallion can carry around 55 soldiers. It can transport heavy weapons and vehicles externally. It is capable of lifting LAV. 25 armored vehicle or M198 155 mm field howitzer with its crew and ammunition. Also, it can recover downed air vehicles up to its own size. The U.S. Navy will use a small number of these helicopters for shipboard resupply. 1. Milmai 26, Russia. The Milmai 26 is the world's largest production helicopter. It is known in the West as Halo. Currently, this heavy lift machine is in service with nearly 20 countries, including Russia and India. Its development began in the early 1970s. Designers had a goal to produce a helicopter with a load capacity twice that of any contemporary machine. It became operational in 1983. The Mi-26 has the load-carrying capability of a C-130 transport plane. Its cargo area, with the rear ramp closed, is 12M long and 3.2M wide, with a minimum ceiling height of 2.9 M. The interior can be configured to seat 80 combat-equipped troops or 60 stretchers. However, there were cases when it flew with 150 troops. Alternatively, this cargo helicopter can carry two combat vehicles weighting 10.000 kg each. The Mi-26 can also carry various loads externally. Latest model, the Mi-26M can lift even more. It has a payload capacity of 25 000 kg, 